peak American engineering. Right here. Right there. See it? Beautiful. That puppy right there is boasting about, I don't know, 42 horsepower. You know, back in the day, cars only used to have about 42 horsepower. Okay? Now they got them in these lawnmowers. Okay? Oh man, I remember back in the day I had my little lawnmower that dang old dang was going rim room. I tell you what, and back we had a we had a truck and that thing went rim rim and that thing only had about 150 horsepower. So basically, th you know, third you get three of these things together, you got to sell a horse. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. All right, guys. All right, yeah. A little bit scared, it's so pretty. So we've been trying to find out how to till our garden for quite some time. I have brought a box blade from our last property and I thought, hey, if I can pull the box blade uh, with the quad, then we should be able to rip this ground open and try and smooth it out a little bit. So I got this hitch thinking, hey, this hitch will work out great. Oh, God. This however turned out to be much harder than I thought. Typical trailer problem. I can't find the hole. She may have survived another day, but I'm gonna keep on trying. Can't quite get this to fit in this hole. This has a slight downward angle. I figure if I lifted the quad up enough, I might be able to get it over there a tad, but I might even just throw the pin in like this if I can't figure this out. Because it's not getting any easier, I'm telling you what. All right. That's what husband-wife teamwork is for. The man lifts the quad off the ground with superhuman strength and the wife moves the pin. The woman will always help you find the hole. Ah, there we are. Ah, fits like a glove if I do say so myself. And I do. Okay. All right, let's give this a shot. There wasn't enough weight, so I had my 11 pound wife stemmed on it, and uh, it wasn't enough. This is when I made the unfortunate decision that I actually have to get a tiller, which I was doing everything in my power to avoid. I'm just scratching the surface.
This thing yanked me about 10 feet forward. There will be no tilling today. Uh, that's just splendiferous. Unreal. Somehow this dog found a whole darn bobcat skeleton in the woods. And what's left of the skull here, when she gave this to us, it still Ow. had the fur and everything on the face. So if you come to our backyard, it kind of looks like uh, a little graveyard. Spooky. Spooky. This wasp made an enemy today, and I will end you. <laughs> it won't leave me alone! Is it still following me? I don't see it. It literally landed on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll go ahead and remove the uh, fuel tank here on account of the fact it leaks. This air filter is garbage. What am I stuck on over here? Ooh! Oh man, I wish I would have known about that when I went to Ace Hardware. Looks like the darn carburetor filter plate might have been keeping this thing on. Aha! Nice. All right. So now just to rewind this and get some new pull cord on here. Oh. And we're gonna go ahead and JB weld this crack here on the tank, a couple of them. So, after we get this tank sealed, it should hold fuel just fine. And, uh, aside from that, we should be in some business here. Another trip to Walmart and getting some more string because the string that I had originally gotten was too large. This one's a little bit smaller than the one that was already in there, but the point is it works. Hooray! All right, let's put it in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Have a great day.